Hey guys, what's going on? It's Eric Johnson and in this video I'm giving you something what I call crunch time tips and why is that because we are at the crunch time of the season and what if you notice the title of this video is how do we get a 66 foot PR this year and how are we going to apply the principles that were used for that 66 foot discus PR and use it in real time and not screw yourself up because this is the deal with crunch time tips as you get to that kind of final point of the season you don't have time to work on big things anymore. You have to create little quick fixes that are gonna help you perform when it matters most. So one of the first things we do, what was the number one focus for one of our athletes who went from 62 feet as a discus thrower as a sophomore to 128 feet as a junior? And that was how did this athlete carry the discus. Now, this is one of the things you've heard us talk about. We talk about the chain reaction. What does that mean? It means physics. It means for every action, there's an opposite and equal reaction. So if we do something weird or carry weird, we're gonna move and we're gonna have that equal and opposite reaction. So if I am cupping the discus, plattering the discus, if I'm doing this, angle on the discus is good, excessive is bad, and when I start to do excessive cup, I'm either gonna cup it and platter and turn it up, and when I do this stuff and I see athletes carrying slow, so what's one of the easiest things you do and why does that happen? Here's your quick tip. Change your tempo of your wind speed. So instead of holding the discus like this, swing it, swing it across, and swing it around. So we call it one, one, one. Now this is a simple tip and this is what's going to simplify the mechanics of setting up your chain reaction. The wind, pillar one, what we call inside of our throwing chain reaction system is the key to your success. Now one of the times, or one of the reasons why that's inhibited is because when you tend to cup or hold or do weird stuff, you're gonna do a lot of extra weird movement. So again, that's what we mean by action reaction. So if we can just simply swing a little bit more comfortably, we are gonna naturally wind. This three position wind, which we call swing and wind. So it's swing, swing it across and swing it away. So when we swing it away is our wind portion. That's essentially how you set up your throw. We've done this repeatedly with athletes all across the country, online members, in-person clients, and our own club athletes. And we're doing it at our divisional state championship here in Arizona this past weekend, resulting in PRs. It's a very simple change. A lot of times athletes, you're stressed, you're moving, you're holding, and now you move slower. You wanna get that little bit of a swing and that simple motion change enables you to hit what we call the six positions of pillar one, sets up your chain reaction, helps you create balance, and will improve that inefficiency of the hand carry. And then, when the season's over, and you've done better, and you're throwing further, then it's time to show you how we do a complete warm-up routine, day in and day out, to show you how to maximize flying the discus for big results, like that 66 foot PR, like we do every year, year in and year out. All right guys, thanks so much for watching. This is your crunch time tip, and we will be back at you with simple things that you can apply now they're going to translate to bigger throws today. See you guys.